audio video is clear if it is clear just write clear in the chat box if the audio video is clear you can just write clear in the chat box right agar audio video clear hai to please clear likh do so that will get a external confirmation sa505 okay it's very important right वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग right and finally we have planned a session out regarding technology risk right but before i start the session out before i start the session out just wanted to know that how many of you are technology lovers in the house if you are a technology lover that in house you can just write uh, lover in the chat box right if you are a technology lover you can just write lover in the chat box only technology lover not other lovers are allowed okay only the technology lover if you are technology lover you can just write lover in the chat box okay theek hai acha hai aapke ghar wale na pad le galti se chat nahi to bolenge kya kar raha hai mera ladka <laughs> kedar is saying i am a hardcore lover okay kedar yes great 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 ankit is also saying he is a lover rohit is saying okay 143 acha <laughs> okay okay great 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 lot of you all loving the technology right uh, not a lover but still i got a uh, selection in a campus placement so now i have become need to make it as my lover okay got it not a problem not a problem right so we have with us today the two mentors joining in who are going to be working in this domain right uh, abhinav and jatin right so we are going to be discussing end to end regarding this uh, interview procedure how this work is all about where do you see yourself five years down the line what is the growth trajectory har wo cheez ke bare mein discuss karenge only the things which we need is that your 100% attention and if you have any doubts you can put the doubts at the end in the chat box we'll be happy to cover the same right but before we start in sabhi se request hai right uh, ek bar ek bar sabhi se request hai to unmute themselves turn their videos on pehle sabse pehle videos on karo request everyone of you to please turn on the videos unmute themselves and give a round of applause for the mentors jatin and abhinav for joining in for the session zordar taliyo ke sath khadat kar liye unke ghar tak ki awaaz pahuncha do aaj ghar tak ki unki awaaz pahuncha do ha kisi ko background mein dart pad rahi hai koi baat nahi theek hai aap dart kha lijiye okay got it not a problem so great uh, abhinav and jatin for joining in for the session Uh, so I'll give a small intro about Jatin first. So Jatin has been working with the Deloitte as an assistant manager for almost a year now. So he is working with Deloitte. So he's going to be guiding us for this session. He's working as a risk advisory there. He'll give a brief about his profile and stuff. So Jatin, I just want you to introduce yourself. A small brief. What role you are working with the Deloitte? Just a small. Brief. Yeah. So uh, good evening, guys. Uh, as Shivam sir said, I'm working with Deloitte India uh, in the profile risk, uh, risk advisory and assurance. as an assistant manager uh, so this profile to brief you in one line is all about being an auditor's expert as we studied in sa620 those of you did study so uh, sa620 mein auditor's expert hai so as we have seen that there are a couple of experts valuation expert ho gaya so we are another kind of expert that is an it expert uh, and we call ourselves as it specialist okay okay so uh, to say what we do is whenever an audit is started there are couple of applications financially critical applications in every organization in large scale organizations specifically in it services telecom services uh construction services and everywhere and some of those applications not all as we are doing auditing so we'll only consider the material applications so these applications are scoped in uh by us to understand how they are financially impacting the other applications and how we can test the it environment and the it control surrounding these applications now how do we scope it is when we contact and we conduct meetings with the stat audit team and we consult with them the applications that they find important we as it specialists uh, give our opinion and with joint effort we scope applications for the audit not all applications are scoped again only the applications that are financially critical which means that they either capture 
process, record, or transmit data that is financially critical. Again, I'm saying that is what we do. And there are a couple of controls surrounding these uh, uh, applications. And in an in the audit CA final car, I am sure everyone must have skipped the topic auditing in an automated environment. Guilty. That is all our profile is all about. Got it. Got it. Yes. So great. I think Jatin, uh, you gave a, gave a really brief about your profile. Now we'll move to Abhinav. Abhinav is working with uh, PwC and as a associate in technology risk site. So Abhinav, uh, just a small brief about yourself. So hi everyone. So I joined the uh, PwC in technology risk assurance just three months ago, and I'll be you know really happy to say I. I couldn't expect a better profile for me. And surprisingly, this was not even my wish list or bucket list, but I got this profile through CMONK itself. So it has been a good right to brief about how we do and what we do. So I think Jatin is more into a consulting side, but I'm core into assurance side. So what we normally do is there are different set of defined systems and process that we have to look and ensure whatever the systems or the SOPs are defined, they are being followed or not. So that the proper approvals are there or not proper mail approvals and evidences are shared across or not. This is just a part of business process to brief. So I'll go a little deeper here in, you know, a holistic view, the entire department is divided into three different categories. One is business process. One is IT GC and one is IT ACs. In business process, we normally do what we just, what I just described. That is we check if the entire system and process is being followed the way it is supposed to be. The output is fine. The output is giving us the results that we expected. We run a test data and check if the applications deployed by the client are giving the satisfactory results or not. Then come IT GCs. IT GC is more of like a general concept or general control where we check basic things that are supposed to be there, like the act Access controls, or maybe uh, let's just say the revolving surrounding controls that should be in place. Maker checker, like uh, the person segregation of duties is how you we normally talk it. The person making an entry is not the person reviewing it. All these things come under IT GC, and then comes IT AC, which is specific to IT uh, IT application controls. So there are various and different applications every company uses. More, mostly they end up using off the shelf uh, packages and softwares, but more the bigger companies, the MNCs at a global level definitely need some customized softwares. So their authenticity, how they work, that also needs to be verified for a complete and, you know, a financial statement that gives a true and fair view. So that all is com uh, included under IT ACs. It depends on your skill sets and interests, which department are you placed into first, but as a general rule, you will definitely be moved through all three, these three departments, uh, depending on your skill sets. Got it. Got it. Got it. So, uh, we'll divide the session into two parts first regarding the journey and also regarding the growth and all this stuff. Second half of the session means after 15, 20 odd minutes is done. We'll move towards the interview preparation side. Ke chalo, ab mujhe profile aa gaya hai, what I need to prepare, how I'm going to be preparing for this, right? So others I request you to please, please pay attention. Right. So first I would like Jatin to share his experience of uh, past one or years. Ki unhone pichle ek saal mein kya kiya hai, what all work he have done into and what is the work exactly? Say, for example, if I am a fresher chartered accountant, if I join your role today, right? Uh, so what work I'll be doing if I join that role, Jatin? Uh, yeah. So uh, as Abhinav said that IT, AC, IT, GC and uh, business processes. So I am into IT, GC. And, uh, and ITGC and there are advisory projects as well, where we get new clients uh, who have never got themselves IT audited per se. And uh, we check their controls and as they have never got themselves audited, there are obvious process flaws. So we guide them, we bridge their gaps and uh, tell, uh, advise them to make whatever gaps we've told them correct. And then again, at the year end, they come back to us and then we perform the ITGC to ensure so advisory project pehle hota hai, and then again wo assurance ho jata hai, jis mein jase i told you earlier scoping in the applications along with the stat audit team and everything so uh, when i joined as a fresher uh, i was allotted on a project where it was purely itgc uh, segregation of duties access controls control surrounding around uh, uh, timely termination of users 
user access reviews, uh, program change management. See, these all terms are technical terms and you will understand once you get into the job. But in layman terms, segregation of duties is the main thing. And access privileges as we studied in uh, IT and IPCC audit may be padha hai, that uh, a user uh, privileges shall not shall correspond to the duties of the user, etc. So that no uh, unauthorized changes are made into the application. And because all these applications are financially critical, we only want the authorized users to make changes. Otherwise, the all the effect can go into BSPL. And these are and outcomes of these applications are the outcomes on which the STAD audit team relies. So we have to ensure that the reports and whatever is being generated is authorized and is correct. This is what we do. So in my starting, when I was allotted on the project, this was all we had to test. There are certain controls around this. So that is what we tested. And then again, uh, that was quarter three for the project. And in quarter four, we tested this again. And now, as I told you, that uh, I'm on a new project where we have to advise the client because this time, after all the stat uh, requirements are over, we get new clients wherein we have to really understand how their process flows. For example, there are three softwares. There is one software that is the front facing application, for example, Amazon. Ka ho gaya. And then a application again, hoga jo warehouse manage karte hai, warehouse mein inventory manage karte hai. and then a core application hoga jo accounting manage. Karte hai. So we really have to get into the or uh, get into calls, walkthroughs with the clients to understand how data flows from the client facing software to the warehouse management software, how the inventory is reduced, how is inventory deducted, ordered back, and how all this process flows to the accounting software so that the financially critical data can be generated. Now, as the client is new, it so happens that there are controls, but there are no process documented controls. So we uh, ask the client this, that if there is no process documented controls, how do you guys manage? What are the approval authorities, as Abhinav said? And uh, what are the process, business processes followed? How do you do it? And when there are flaws, we communicate it to them and we expect the client to bridge. This is uh, what I've done in the last one. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Right. So Abhinav, I want you to share your experience uh, for the past few months with whatever projects you have worked into. And being a fresher, say, for example, if I join now, right, what will be the work allocated to me? All right. So, yes, my experience so far has been really great. So I'll tell you something. I'm not sure if I should be disclosing this. But what this department is, is far from what you normally think of when you talk about audit, uh, started audit or something. Here, we're not wor uh, worried about what is the depreciation rate or what is the amount that is, you know, calculated. 10,000, 15,000 does not matter to us. What matters to us is, is the system process, is the system followed or not? Whether the software that is in place, is that giving us the desired result or not? And the person who has the authority to manipulate the percentage that is being charged for depreciation, is his uh, authority and power in check or not? That is what we do in this particular department, which is the first category, like I said, business processes. Here we check the entire process of all the entry. So, uh, for example, right now I'm working on a very big uh, multinational bank. Obviously it's a global bank. So the line entries that we have to, you know, verify is roughly, let's say yeah, today itself, I was doing one particular control that had 70,000 transactions in just three, three months, but obviously we are auditing. So we have to select samples, but that, that is where we have to use our skeptical, you know, mindset and think which are the relevant uh, categories or the kind of transactions we need to look at. It might be just normal investment or dividend received, or maybe let's just say uh, credit card uh, controls, anything. What we are bothered with is whether the processes are being followed or not. And we have to report it if there are any problems. That's another good thing about this project. Whatever, since day one, you are being given the uh, power to interact with the clients. If I have any query, if somebody else in my team does not know the answer, I have the authority to reach out to the client directly, obviously over email first, but you're on the client facing side since the day one, so that gives you a good exposure. You're directly talking to the CTOs and, you know, high level people in large uh, multinational banks. So that is a good exposure. I have been given two projects till now. One was user acceptance testing, which was a little technical and into IT ACs. But it was just a brief period because I had just joined and just to give me some work, they gave me that to give me an idea of what things will be like in future. 
after that i was given this core uh, business process thing which uh, currently like jatin said there are different quarters that we need to verify right now we are into our interim reporting part which needs to be reported by 31st august so our work is stretched obviously but just because the work is stretched i have had such exposure like bas kaam de diya hai and you i need to figure it out myself how to do it that is very challenging and obviously i know my senior is very occupied she is overworked i cannot go to her for every other doubt or question i have then i have to look up ke what can i do how can i do this come up with my own solutions and then discuss with her whether what i did was right or not and if that was right it was a really good feeling okay i figured out such a critical thing myself and obviously i get appreciation for that that i do not bother everybody and get work done so it's been in, it's been a challenging but very satisfying role so far i'm really, really looking forward to get into other departments and more great 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 so abhinav just also wanted to understand from you that lot of students are worried regarding yaar ki yahan se what are the exit opportunities what are the growth options right or what are the exposure which i am going to be getting right so what what is your thought process on this all right so yes this is a definitely sort of the question even i was the one uh, looking for answers so i don't know if i have the right or ac- accurate answers but yes i'll tell you what i have understood first things about the kind of work that we'll be doing broadly we can divide the entire set into two different departments that is fs and non fs what is fs and non fs financial services and non financial services now what do these things mean fs is i'll be dealing with clients in financial industry financial services be it banks or nbfcs or things like that and non fs is uh companies which are not financial i mean obviously we'll be looking at the financial systems but non financial companies like maybe flipkart or nike and things like them uh, companies like them which are not core finance companies now coming to the opportunities in that what i've seen and observed in my brief 3 months is so one thing that will happen is if you stay in this department for long you will find it hard to pivot to other departments that is that is in case if you do not like the work that you do here but if you have the nick for it if you like technology dealing with computers and things less of excel and more of uh, you know softwares and everything you will love this definitely now what the exit options are i have seen people leave uh, for example there are secondments like there are projects where you can go for 2 to 3 months on different uh, com- countries and you know work there or what happens is people uh, for example one of the projects i did was outsourced by pwc uk so if i do my work well if i outperform there is a chance pwc uk can acquire me or absorb me from pwc india if i apply or if my work was uh, you know exceptional maybe my client hsbc could acquire me directly from there so i've seen people in the last 3 months itself go leaving pwc india to join either pwc uk or hsbc uk that is being absorbed by the client and since you come from a brand name like a big four you definitely stand a good chance of getting selected there and obviously you've done the work you've done good work a good amount of work here so they will be definitely happy to have you that is if i talk about the you know abroad opportunities and things but if we talk about within india obviously these things will not be available to you if you are in tier 2 or tier 3 cities but what can happen is since you've done this internal control kind of work you have done the system processes and everything in the next few every different company or almost all of the companies will use some kind of technology or a part of technology and everybody will have to mandatorily get the system process and audit it so what you can do in tier 2 or tier 3 cities is just find a good bank or big enough company who has these system and processes in uh, you know function and probably join them and maintain or work on their uh, these systems and processes so opportunities are vast just the problem is the single problem is you will be restricted to this depart- uh, department in the long run if you move out you seek out after 4 5 years then it's difficult otherwise it's it's fun working out here work life balance is amazing i'd say I- except for the last week because it is a reporting week i would just log out at 7 o'clock max 6 to 7 max i would log out and nobody would question me because the work was done the client goes off at 6 they don't have any excuse to keep you working so work life balance is great i'd say in this department great 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 so jatin what's your view on this growth and the exit opportunities uh same as abhinav was saying uh, i'd like to add that 
for example, at the companies in, that you audit, you basically study the integrity of their IT infrastructure. Uh, what controls surrounds their IT environment? What are the access privileges, segregation of duties? So you get a knack of their operating systems, their databases, how are they managed? How, how are uh, access granted? How are changes done in applications? So once you are thorough with many clients, like in Big Four, you get to experience uh, IT environments of many clients over the years. You'll definitely get to. So you, you will have a knack of uh, these processes uh, in every company because every company has different process for the same outcome, of course. So you'll get a knack of every process uh, and you'll get basically get wisdom as to how to do and what to do as and when situation arises. So once you get an understanding of these complex IT structures, any company would employ you as their in their internal audit team as a lead architect. Uh, I'm sorry, a lead IT consultant, IT lead. Uh, that is the positions that you get into once you are well versed with the IT infrastructure of company. And there are exit opportunities. I mean, if you look for Accenture. IBM or any company per se. These are just handful of companies I can name. But because every company has IT software, every company has web uh, client facing, uh, customer facing applications. Every company has applications that are accessed by their internal users. You will be having a job there because maintaining integrity of these software is a must because in the ever changing environment and uh, with the cyber security threats, as we must have studied in risk management the threats and everything that are coming uh, with rise of all this user access uh, management is a critical role in handling companies uh, it infrastructures integrity so you'll definitely get a job in the internal audit function of course and as abhinav said this is a core it job you will not be you know calculate building financial models obviously you won't uh, calculate capital gain tax and everything you, this is a core it field and if you like it then stay otherwise switching after five six years into a, a finance field would be difficult of course not impossible but then of course you'd have to acquire some additional skills right 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 got it uh so now moving to the second half of the session but before we move to the second half of the session just wanted to check any of the doubts in the okay. chat box please regarding okay. Or we'll cover the doubts at then. Any of the any important doubt which you feel like yeah, SK Bare Method or Samuja Patado or wanted to understand this out, you can put it over a chat box. I'll be happy to cover the same. Any doubts in the chat box, please? The people connected from a YouTube live, you can also put uh, doubts in the chat box. Zoom pe kaise connect kare, uh, you'll get a link over a telegram group. Telegram group ka niche description mein link lagaya hua hai. The people connected over a YouTube live will be able to find out the same. Got it. Uh, huh. Now, next question is the risk assurance similar to the technology risk assurance? I just want Jatin to answer this out. So, Jatin, uh, how technology risk assurance they might be on similar lines? They can be. I mean, I'll have to go through the job description once if they'll align, but as far as I know, same here. Don't know same. It's just different. Uh, Big Four's name the profile different. Right. right, right. Okay. And Deloitte risk assurance is similar to technology. Got it. Achha, membership and all this uh, will be covering at the end. Uh, achha, we'll open the doubts at the end. Nahi fir wo kya ho Other doubts, placement doubts and job doubts. Sab dal rahe abhi bich bich right. Okay. Now, before we move to the second half of the session about interview preparation, just wanted to check that how many of you want a help regarding interview preparations and stuff. Yeah, thoda sa guidance mil jaya, mentor se ke kaise prepare karna, it would be helpful. If you want to help, just write yes in the chat box, please. If you want to help, jab tak sab yes nahi likhenge, tab tak hum second half of me move nahi karenge. Mentors ko mein bulunga hi nahi ke guidance do. Sabhi ko yes likhna padega. Sabhi ko yes likhna padega, tabhi hum hapko batayenge. Right? Interview preparation kaise kare, guidance do do sir, isi ke liye to aay the. Right. Okay. One more important thing we'll also discuss regarding the SAP profile. J. Don't worry. SAP profile. Ke mein we will discuss karenge. I'll brief you out since, uh, when I was working with Udan, so I was a part of implementation team. So where I was implementing the dynamics 365 for Udan end to end. So I was working with PWC that time. So I know ki kaise work karta hai. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, I think Sabhi ne yes bol diya hai. YouTube ke janta yes nahi bol rahi hai. Aisa na kariye, aisa na kariye. Bhagwan upar se dekh rahe hai aapko. Thik hai, Bhagwan dekh rahe hai. Yes nahi likho ke to hum aage nahi padhenge. Okay, 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 got it. Right. So, uh, first of all, I would uh, ask 
yes abhinav to share his experience for of our interview kaise hua interview what all things you prepared what all things students need to prepare around and what are the skills which interview is looking at the time of interview so uh, this is going to be a little different so my entire vision is completely different from you know what normal uh, students might have just to brief sure i'll try keeping short i was too much into blockchain and everything so one vision that i sold to the company was every business will be on blockchain in the next 5 years not necessarily just crypto or nfts but it's a long concept it's a vast concept and exam dene ke baad result ke pehle jo 3 mahine the usme i deep dive into blockchain pura nitty gritty samajh liya how businesses are relevant so i had a vision i tried getting jobs in that blockchain domain but apne ca fraternity ke liye abhi udhar kuch nahi hai nahi hai zyada ha but i understood ke accounting taxation and maybe auditing of blockchain and transaction on blockchain is going to be a big thing then i started deep diving into that there are companies who have started doing this but uh, it's they're not doing really well right now but in the next 5 years there are going to be enormous almost most of the companies will be on blockchain in some or the other capacity and there has to be a department that consults them or gives them help with uh, these uh, technologies so my preparation was based on that this is my knowledge this is my vision and i said if for example in 5 years everything is going to be on blockchain next 2 years every big company will have to develop a department around it if i join this particular department today because of my you know uh, love for technology i might be in a position after 2 years when the department is being set that i could probably manage the department for them because i'll be ready how to handle a team how to work so that was the kind of vision i told them and they agreed to it that this makes sense but coming to how the interview went and how the technical part so in if uh, everybody knows there was a subject called iska in safe and old syllabus out of everything it was the only subject i was confident i'll score very good marks and that will get me you know uh, clear all the uh, both the groups and i did score 72 something in iska so that was a big thing that was one thing i could show up in the interview you give me any term i'll be able to explain it to you in a nice way not uh, not sure how much that would be relevant to the new uh, syllabus students guys but yes what they will look for you is how much do you understand technology as any they want you to be thorough with everything they will make you do but they want to see how comfortable you are with technology so you it's it will always help if you like i went in with all guns loaded blockchain but there has to be some aspect that shows your interest and enthusiasm towards technology because this is going to be a core technology job tumko statement audit kaise karna hai ye sab nahi pata hona chahiye tumko pata hona chahiye technology kaam kaise karta hai and what vision do you hold for technology brief small questions i get a uh, technical round mein but not necessarily that they'll be relevant to what you've studied you just need to have the understanding of technology that's all i can say got it got it yes jatin your experience and uh, few tips regarding the interviews so uh, i went with no guns loaded acha <laughs> <laughs> okay. i i knew nothing because okay. earlier matlab when 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 i cleared in july 21 there was no session on technology assurance so all i could do was to read the job description and understand nothing <laughs> so <laughs> was, kuch bhi kuch bhi samajh nahi aa raha tha kya hota hai and automated environment skip kar diya tha maine कुछ नहीं समझ आ रहा था सो स्टिल वॉट है बिकॉज यू डोंट है वर्क यू डोंट है वर्किंग नॉलेज ऑफ दिस प्रोफाइल एंड नीडर टू यू हैव दियोरिटिकल नॉलेज ऑफ दिस प्रोफाइल सो इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट इन द इंटरव्यू यू नॉट गोना डू एसिस द इंटरव्यूर नोज एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर एन यू आर फ्रॉम बिग फोर प्रोफाइल इट इज ओके बिग फोर आर्टिकल शिप बिकॉज आई एम नॉट फ्रॉम बिग फोर सो आई डोंट नो बट पीपल इन बिग फोर माइट बी हैविंग सम आइडिया अबाउट हायर हाउ रिस्क एडवाइजरी वर्क बिकॉज इन दे आर इन स्टैंड सो दे communicate with the risk advisory and assurance team for scoping and application as i told earlier in the session so they might be knowing but from med- med- mediocre firms small firms they have no clue what risk advisory is because our clients are honestly not so big to unke as application so usually pura audit tally mein khatam ho jata so you're not expected to have a working knowledge but what you are expected to have is the will to learn see you're not supposed to know stuff of course he also knows ki tumko kuch nahi aata hai but Uh, you supposed to tell ki yes i am interested as abhinav said yes i want to learn and your safest bet in the interview to clear interview can be to show your interest in the audit ka automated environment chapter 
And if you had risk management and electives, so just throw in that that I had elective as risk management. Even if you don't have, just throw in interview or something. I don't know electives. Concept. Just throw in that I know risk management and just share some terms: risk control matrix, COSO, COBIT. Just read. Please read before you say. He might ask. He he just wants one line answer: that what is COBIT? What is COSO? What is risk control matrix? What is cyber security risk? Throw in some frauds. Enron wala fraud fraud ho gaya. Throw something like that. So he knows that. Thoda you know you work your way around the job description. And uh, because this is an internal auditing role, so if you have done internal audit, you'll have a leverage in the interview. And the interviewer will grill you on your CV because he has nothing else to grill you. Because उसको नहीं उसको पता है आपको नहीं है. So be thorough with your CV. Because he might ask you, sir, if you've done internal audit, are there any, were there any sort of automated controls? Was was there any sort of segregation of duties there? Because it all starts from segregation of duties. Maker checker नहीं होना चाहिए. So your safest bet there could be to say the three-way rule that we say uh, purchase order, invoice, goods received note. Uh, maker checker invoice. For example, when you state these, so he knows that okay, he knows the working knowledge, basic knowledge. उसको है कि कैसे internal control work करता है किसी भी organization. This is what you can do. This is what I did. And if the interview does not go well, and if you know me, I am not getting anything. Just you know, say it outrightly, sir. I don't know much about this profile, but I really want to learn. Could you please share your experience in the profile? If he catches that, you are gone. मतलब आपका हो गया. That is it. That is what that what worked for me. I threw in some terms, of course, IT and auditing environment. I I read. I threw in some change management, some access security, access privilege security, password configuration, some terms like that, and it worked. ज़्यादा बड़ा इंटरव्यू नहीं था मेरा. I think my interview went for like twenty twenty minutes, but I think for seven eight minutes it was the interviewer speaking his experience. So that is that might work for you. Work for you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Great. So Abhinav, now uh, students, a lot of students, right? I think more than one fifty, two hundred students are watching us live, right? So they are asking, "Yar, kuch aisa material bata do." Like Jatin have told, right? A few jargon words, few materials out. Any suggestions from your side regarding, "Yar, itni dust cheeze at least padna chalu karo." Because after reading a job description, people feel like, "Ha, thik hai chhoro." IT based role hai. I need to understand the process. I need to work on the same. But I'm not able to understand कि पढ़ो क्या यार कुछ तो बता दो tell me something that which I should at least start reading on yes Abhinav I think Abhinav का network issue हो गया है looks like I think Abhinav का network issue sorry sorry अच्छा I think Jatin you would like to add on something more uh, yes Shivam मतलब this you can read Uh, just be thorough with the uh, auditing terms. ये जो uh, just be thorough with maybe with SS six twenty because you know you are the SS six twenty. अच्छा right uh, and we also work around uh, uh, SOC audit Sarbanes and Oxley Oxley Act okay. SOC one SOC SOC one uh, report SOC two report SOC three report just read the types of audit reports if you want and uh, just read what is CISA course because that is like अपनी field का CIA hmm. CISA हो गया DISA हो गया Just read. CISM does this course. Uh, there's a course CISP. CISM and CISP is for the client side. Okay. But just throw in so that he knows that अच्छा कुछ तो आपको आता. Got it. Otherwise, Got it. auditing in the uh, IT environment, जो अपना audit का chapter था, that is what is the work. That is what our work is all about. Chee. Basically, yeah. सिखाएंगे so i'll uh, give out one piece of information that will help at the end of every interview jitne bhi interview diye maine there was this question i used to ask is there anything you would want me to learn or be thorough with by the time i get on board ab mere ko interviewer ka jawab nahi pata hai kya hoga lekin main ye sawal puchta hu aur uska jo jawab aata hai usse mere ko pata chal jata hai what is going to be my outcome of this interview because if he is not interested he'll say no i think you have you have enough uh, knowledge yeah ye wo But if he's interested, he might recommend something. अच्छा तुम financial modeling बोलो, अच्छा तुम ICFCR पढ़ क्या हो? 
एंड एक अगले इंटरव्यू तक ये टच कर लो सो मेरे पीडब्ल्यू सी के जितने इंटरव्यू हुए थे बाय द टाइम आई वॉज आई गॉट टू द पार्टनर राउंड पार्टनर राउंड में शिवम इफ यू नो मितेश मितेश के साथ था मेरा पार्टनर राउंड यस इंटरव्यू वॉज गोइंग फेंटास्टिक एंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट इंटरव्यू था विच लास्टेड फॉर मोर देन एन आर इन दी एंड वॉज लाइक योर विजन इज राइट आई नॉट टेल यू एज अ पार्टनर बट एज अ फ्रेंड यूर थिंकिंग राइट एंड वगैरह तो इन दी एंड ऑब्वियसली I saw everything was going fine, but then again I asked my question: Is there anything you would want me to get thorough with by the time I get on board? He said, "Boy, today is Wednesday. You will be joining Monday. There is no time for you to understand. Just come over. Jo hai, hum sikha denge. Hmm. So this is something everybody should ask at the end of interview. You will get a clarity that this interview me kya hua hai mera. And plus, they might actually agar." they were interested in uh, selecting you they will tell you something ke ye ye study karke aana baki they don't expect you to become a master and then come for interview they will teach you everything definitely right 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 and in fact i remember your email you wrote on i think 2nd of june right i was like yaar yeah, i was really happy to read this out ki you got placed into this because you are looking into the blockchain and technology side right so that is something which is there now a few more important questions with lot of students are asking is that is it a client facing role or uh, do we need to go to client place every day just so uh, it depends on the client uh, in my the clients that i have dealt with i have not went to the client place but this was because of the because of covid but earlier as my team has mentioned that they went to client place that was outstation for 3 4 months because the client was big and they had to really be with the client to understand the it infrastructure because as third person and as someone as people who are not well versed with it uh, being ca specifically we have no knowledge exactly ki kya chalta hai how our systems going what is database what is operating system what is linux ubuntu mysql uh, sap and everything so to be with the client to understand how process documents how data flows it is very easy when you are with the client instead of having a call on teams so uh, whenever 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 it is feasible you go to the client space i haven't been but my colleagues are going right now uh, they occasionally go once or twice a week uh, yeah and that's about it and there was another question shivam you raised apart from this uh, no this was again one of the question uh, one more doubt which is a lot of people are having i think i would uh, give them a brief regarding the uh, sap role right since a lot of you are asking ki what is exactly the sap role or oracle role about since it is more or less related to the it side so i'll just give a, a one minute of a brief to the people those who are connected here just give me a second i'll present a screen so that you will get a better understanding of the same yes i hope my screen is visible now imagine that uh, imagine that cmonk wants to implement uh, sap software since cmonk is growing so cmonk decided to install a sap software right now what happened is that since we want to install and customize the sap software the way we wanted it out so what we can do is that we can go to lot of forms which are implementing the same so nowadays lot of big fours are giving the consultation related to it lot of uh, companies are giving the consultation related to it right so say for example we went to the big four say for example we went to pwc for the guidance for the same now there will be guy from a pwc right uh, who is going to be ensuring that he is going to be taking the requirements from cmo and giving those requirement to the tech guy right ki bhaiya cmo ko is tarike ka software chahiye say for example as and when someone purchases a courses automatic accounting is supposed to be done in the sap software that is a requirement of a cmo now we need to customize this uh, sap software so who is going to be responsible in taking the ks requirements implementation and some more guidance the chartered accountants are going to be hired for this right so a lot of cas are going to be hired for this so multiple roles are there nowadays like sap consulting oracle dynamics 365 these are the three major sites which you will be able to find it in a lot of big fours uh, infosys accenture uh one of these companies are nowadays are going to be seen on the site right and in fact wipro also right so this is something which you should be also aware of since we are discussing regarding the uh, technology yeah work days also nowadays which is there so you will be able to get a lot of exposure or a lot of talk regarding ki ha sap consulting ke liye hire ho raha hai so this is what the role is about in short right we can have a detailed session if you want it out so we can have a detailed session of the same right now let's open the forum for our doubt solving right the students those who are connected uh, will be happy to take the doubts from the chat box 
and those who are connected from youtube live will be happy to see the doubts over the chat box jin jin ko doubts hai please put your doubts in the chat box uh, shivam one more thing i'd like to add about uh, what we do before yes, the doubts come up so there's one more thing uh, known as interface testing automated controls interface testing so usme what i am not worked on that yet but my colleagues have so i am sharing little knowledge that i have about that now for example uh, there's this thing that companies have uh, assets of worth of crores hundreds and thousands of crores and now they can't manually enter depreciation for all the assets so they set a control they set a, a control ki is particular block of asset pe itna depreciation har saal charge hona chahiye so these are automated controls interface controls that how two softwares are linked between each other and whether the data is flowing accurately and on a timely manner so this is also something that we check for example uh, in case of recharges that we check for example uh, if if a uh, uh, dealer is wo mobile ka recharge as we used to see ki 1000 rupees ka recharge suppose he is authorized to give only 1000 rupees ka recharge in delhi so we check whether uh, he is whether or not aisa to nahi ki he is able to give recharge rupees 1001 this also we check this is this comes in interface testing when once we have a comfort on the gitcs i a general information technology controls then we go on to test the automated controls this is also one thing this is a little thing this is all i am doing got it got it got it got it people on youtube are saying jatin looks a it expert guy are nahi yaar okay great office walon ko nahi pata chalna chahiye acha ji theek hai yes now we'll open the forum for doubts lot of doubts which are there in a the chat box we'll try to cover one by one uh anyone having a internal audit experience will get a preference for a technology assurance profile yes i suppose because that is the closest you can come to this profile okay got it uh, abhinav riya is asking that can we switch from technology assurance to erp side after one or two odd years yes any idea that, that is in fact my plan acha so this is the profile i am into right now is a stepping stone to where i really want to get okay. so yes that is possible as possible okay uh, what to prepare for technology consulting in microsoft business enterprise solution sai is asking any idea on the same No. I think more or less it's going to be on the same lines. We uh, once uh, if uh, we are able to go through the job description, then maybe we can work around the way. If the yeah. job description matches, then probably it's the same. Yes. From so what I from box. what I've understood, yeah. it's so there are basically two two sides. One is consulting, one is assurance. Consulting will recommend what to put. Assurance will just test what to put. More or less, they are parallel, but on the same line. Got it. Got it. Nia is asking, is it good profile for girls? Absolutely. At least in PwC, almost it's a fifty-fifty gender ratio. That's correct. I got shortlisted in PwC Risk Assurance GRC. Is it risk audit or general IT control? I think that's government risk governance risk compliance. Governance is GRC. So that is more towards compliance of these IT process. Okay. Great. Uh, whether the India's questions were asked in interview for risk assurance? I hardly think the interview will know uh, India's questions. But still, safe bet to go through at least one one five, one one six financial instruments. वो ही जो normal A category वाले chapters. Got it. Got it. Can you explain the associate data and analytics in PwC role? Any idea on the same? Abhi na? Yes. So, uh, okay, we've discussed the brief of technology risk side. Hmm. I think PwC is one of not one of the PwC is a pioneer. So, what PwC also does is we are working on in-house development of bots and systems. Okay. To give to clients. So, for that team, they are hiring data and analytics experts. So, we build our own bots based on the requirement of the clients, and for that, this profile could be relevant. Oh, that's great! Yeah, that's great. Right? Okay, I am selected for the same profile. Very good. Congratulations. Ah, uh, what are the areas in technology risk domain is growing? Which area in technology risk is growing? Every area is growing, right? Blockchain, Bitcoin, bot. Every every damn thing. Yeah, sab kuch automated ho raha hai. People are doing automation to the next level every day. Do we come across any programming language like Python, R, etc.? No. Okay, got it. 
बट यू डू कोऑर्डिनेट विद क्लाइंट्स और स्पॉक्स हु आर इनटू द द टेक ऑप्स टीम और द नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर टीम्स एंड दे हैव अ साउंड नॉलेज ऑफ दिस दिस प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस बिकॉज़ दे आर द वंस कोडिंग दे आर द वंस डिजाइनिंग द सॉफ्टवेयर्स सो यू गेट टू कनेक्ट विद देम बट एज सच यू डोंट कम अक्रॉस दीस लैंग्वेजेस एंड यू आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू हैव अ नॉलेज ऑफ देम एज़ वेल ओके maybe in consultancy it might be relevant for some projects but not in insurance at least okay what are it controls on purchase process i don't know why neha is asking very particular question it controls on purchase process so your maker che- checker rule can come usually purchase process pe it controls all it can be is that whenever a customer purchases the it is it works on a real time basis and that say suppose if i am uh, if it is i'm talking about amazon so as soon as an order is placed uh, as soon as amazon places an order for purchase through its uh, other softwares for example sap ya jo bhi unka software hai real time pe wo inventory mein add ho jata hai ya jaisa bhi entry book ho jati that could be one thing I mean, there are not delays in processing of the system, exactly. and maker checker to predominant cheese hai is department. Na. Got it. Ah, uh, can you tell about the profile of associate forensic? Abhishek, I think your pure pure forensics ho gaya, right? I think you are into wrong session. Uh, looks like because uh, it's purely related to the IT part, you know. So forensics ka will have a separate session. It's more regarding the fraud uh, detection and identification, which is there. Okay, how to apply for the job? Any email ID to send? Nahi, theek hai. Uh, what is the initial package? Will not cover this. Okay, okay, okay. I got selected in Deloitte. All the best. Expected questions were discussed. JD, thodi der mein discuss karte hain. Uh, JD, Jatin, you can if you can scroll the JD. I think. Uh, so uh, JD did not happen in our case, hmm. but because abhi I don't think Big Four are conducting JD as such, especially in campus. No, no, no. No, Big Four are not conducting. Our uh, Sai has shared the job description in the chat box. Uh, if you can scroll it out, I don't have a knowledge of internal controls, internal audit. Can I choose this path? Abhinav can answer this. Absolutely, they will. You just need to be. You have the intent to learn. Because you will look sub sekhenge. Your first twenty days will be core learning only. They will give you enough content. So, night bar, you will be reading all day. And plus, these uh, at least PwC, what it does is it gives you uh, free access and uh, subscription to uh, LinkedIn Learnings and Coursera and other platforms. Same. So, learning is indefinite. You will just learn as much as you want. Okay, growth we have discussed. Can we move to other companies in discussion? So we have discussed with growth in coming year. We have discussed this out. You can just scroll down, right? If you have missed out, then you can just pick it up. That thing will be covered. Jai, who is YouTube connected? Jai, brother. I think we have covered all this. What you are saying is exit options. We have discussed at the start. In fact, uh, in the first fifteen twenty odd minutes, it's covered. Is there any chance to enter into business design development from risk assurance department? I think it's very very technical, but yes, it's not assurance from consulting. Yes, you can. Okay, from consulting side you can go. Okay, got it. Any specific doubt regarding a technology risk, yeah. sir? Have you discussed technology risk assurance? Yes, we have discussed everything about technology risk assurance. Okay, now you are joining and you are asking what the discussion was. Okay, okay. Any important topics, Abhinav, which you want to highlight for the students uh, for ISCA? ISCA se kuch aisa padna raha to. आई टी जी सी आई टी ए सी ये पढ़ के जाओ अच्छे से क्या होते हैं क्या कंट्रोल्स लगते हैं एंड सो देर इज वन पैरल डिपार्टमेंट जी आर सी लाइक समबडी आज कपल ऑफ मिनट अगो तो जी आर सी इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन इसका तो जी आर सी के बारे में भी पढ़ के गए तो इट विल हेल्प Uh, please guide on socks audit ITGC audit and PCAOB audit any idea on the same PCAOB is uh, auditing standard for US right wo uh, Sarbanes and Oxley wala hi uska hi ha unka jo board hota hai review karne wala that is PCAOB see you uh, bhagyashree okay socks audit just read what are the types of socks report socks 1 socks 2 socks 3 type 1 type 2 socks 3 socks 2 plus or socks 3 plus also there's a report If you really want to learn or read, just read which SOC report is publicly available. Which SOC report is not publicly available? Uh, I suppose SOC one type two report is the report that we usually use. 
सो आई जस्ट गिव यू जैसे कि अपन ने उसमें पढ़ा था सर्विस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सर्विस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के केस में वी यूज सॉफ्ट रिपोर्ट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ माई इफ माई आई टी सॉफ्टवेयर इज आउटसोर्स सो आई कैंट गो अप से सपोज माई डेटा बेस इज ऑन एमेजॉन वेब सर्विसेज एमेजॉन वेब सर्विस इज अ डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट क्लाउड होस्ट सो नाउ इफ माई क्लाइंट हैज इज डेटा बेस ऑन एमेजॉन वेब सर्विस एम नॉट गोन गो टू ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड स्टार्ट उनका ऑडिट for that we we have to limit ourselves somewhere so in that case we refer, we resort to sock on type to report that is what you need to know itgc we covered pcaob is a standard you can just uh, read it about okay. on the internet it's not and i think shushmita has also put some of the jargon words like irac bcbs any idea on the same i think uh, lcr raw yes, i haven't come across all those terms yet kaun sa job description theek oh. <laughs> <laughs> hai Got it. Uh, okay, I think we try to cover almost everything out. Okay, uh, Brithun Jai has said that manage change, manage operation, manage access, lead it at least. Okay, so change management, कुछ भी नहीं होता है समझो कोई software है and उसमें अच्छा I'll give you a practical example only. So there's a there's a software जिससे आपके bills generate होते हैं and suppose now the client has introduced something कि in the wake of COVID nineteen and everything they want a a donation column. so they if you want to purchase purchase okay and if you want to donate 5 rupees 10 rupees for covid okay you can do it now the client wants what that if the customer is actually paying uh, we want the donation amount to come on the uh, bill or on the invoice that we are generating now pehle to nahi hota tha now they want it so now the back end developers will hard code the application in such a way that whenever a, a customer pays the money he will get the amount shown as a donation in the invoice and say suppose now they wanted fairly more technical ki bhai us pe gst na lag jaye Right, because usme GST lagna is not, uh, it's not how it is supposed to be. So now they'll hard code in a way that every the invoice, the purchase, the invoice pay GST lagega. Alag se uspe apko donation dekega, but donation pay GST nahi lagega. This is basically a program change or change management. Now this can take several forms. I'm giving you a fairly simple form. Kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Koi report change karna hai apko kisi koi application ab band ho raha hai and then that application is migrating into a new application. That is change management. Simply, I am just making. So this is what is on change management all about. Simple. Okay, got it. So I think we tried to cover almost everything. Any any yes. few important doubts? ऐसा कुछ doubt है which people are feeling like कि सर ये तो बताइए दो please before we conclude the session. And before we conclude it out, any pro tip from Abhinav? Yar, Abhinav, कुछ pro tip बता दो यार. I think we've more mostly covered it. Will be a repetition. Okay, got it. Then any pro tip from your side? If you just want look to... intrigued, ah, <laughs> <laughs> just look intrigued, and just, मतलब please ah, मतलब just manage your communication skills there. They know you know you don't know, and you know you don't know. But just try to tell that you want to know, sound confident, and because you've got nothing to lose, you know nothing. Not that you've prepared and you're not able to answer that. That is the worst thing, knowing and not being able to answer the worst thing. But here you have you don't know anything. It's okay. Audit का वो chapter जरूर पढ़ लेना. And अगर if you really want to get into it, just because uh, उस chapter में ना सिर्फ terms लिखे हैं. For example, program change लिखना. What is program change? इस example में मैंने आपको बता दिया. But if you really want to know, just type it on Google and go through it. Is what you can do at max. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. so great i think uh, really grateful session right in fact we have learned lot of new things in fact i am a technology guy mai thoda bahut technology side apne aap ko align karte rehta hu because if i want to scale the organization technology is only one of the platform absolutely can, even in yeah, startups uh, uh, shivam i'd say that bahut scope rehta hai because the new organizations unka baki sab physical access control otherwise sab control sub sets rehte hain but for uh, technology controls they really need someone who has the all over jo pura आर्किटेक्चर संभाल के उनको एक ऐसा आर्किटेक्चर स्टैब्लिश करके दे पाए कि उसको कोई ब्रेक इन नहीं है राइट एंड उसको कंटिन्यूएशन में रखे राइट सो आई गिव यू एवरीवन अ स्मॉल स्टोरी लाइन एक छोटा सा स्टोरी लाइन बताता हूं बिफोर आई कंक्लूड दिस आउट राइट सिंस आई बीइंग इनटू द स्टार्टअप स्पेस तो वैल्यूएशन लॉट ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स इफ इट इज अ टेक बेस्ड प्लेटफार्म द वैल्यूएशन विल बी द 10x और 15x ऑफ अ रेवेन्यू बट इफ इट इज नॉट अ टेक बेस्ड प्लेटफार्म इट्स गोना बी 2x और 0.5x और 1x और 2x और 3x वैल्यूएशन ऑफ द रेवेन्यू Now you can imagine their valuation is increasing because of a tech. Swiggy को आज कोई beat नहीं कर पा रहा है because उनका technology है. Paytm को कोई beat नहीं कर पा रहा है because उनका technology है, right? बनाने को तो मैं भी Paytm बना दूँ यार. उसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है. But I don't have that bandwidth. In fact, I was reading they invest three hundred odd crores every month to build the technology out. 
राइट तो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रोइंग गाइस प्लीज डू अंडरस्टैंड फ्लिपकार्ट को जो इतना बिग वैल्यूएशन पे बाय आउट किया था वॉलमार्ट ने वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज़ ऑफ अ कस्टमर डेटाबेस एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी बिल्डिंग समथिंग इनटू दैट स्पेस यू विल डू वंडर्स इन अ लाइफ राइट तो टेक्नोलॉजी साइड इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रूमिंग ब्लॉकचेन साइड इज गोइंग टू बी ग्रूमिंग बिटकॉइन्स इज सपोज्ड टू बी मतलब अगेन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू बी कमिंग इन द फ्यूचर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड गो फॉर इट इफ यू आर नॉट एंड अगेन रीथिंक अबाउट इट right so that is something which uh, we want to communicate with you guys so people those who are watching us from youtube live definitely you can having any doubts you can put it over comment section our mentors will definitely going to be visiting right wo bhi dekhte rahenge ki kitne likes aaye kitne views aaye right they'll also be much more interested so jisko bhi doubts rahega please put it over a comment section we'll be happy to reach out and we'll be happy to help you out aur jo yahan se connected hai yaar ek bar aakhri bar mentors ke liye unmute karke zordar taaliyan video on kar dijiye taaliyon ki awaaz un tak ke ghar tak pahuncha dijiye please fatafat fatafat request every एक बार जोरदार तालियों के साथ बोलेंगे फॉर द वैल्यूएबल टाइम भाई अरे यार मैं क्यों बने हुए हैं क्या तो ग्रेट 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 आई थिंक यो आयो हां yes so thanks to the mentors out for the joining in you can drop your feedback in the chat box we'll be really happy to read the same uh or bhi koi sessions chahiye just let us know just before we conclude we have lot of series of sessions going in in the upcoming week राइट right, तो उसके लिए भी आप फटाफट रजिस्टर कर लीजिए लॉर्ड ऑफ सेशंस व्हिच आर देयर व्हिच वी आर प्लानिंग फॉर यू गाइस इन आवर मेंटरशिप पोर्टल आउट mentorship.cmong.com टुमारो वी हैव अ इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन गाइडेंस फॉर मैक्यूरी देन योर फेवरेट बैंकिंग बहुत सवाल पूछते हैं मुझे सच बता रहा हूं मैं बैंकिंग के लिए तो प्लीज जॉइन इन बेस्ट सेशन रहेगा फाइनली द सेशन फॉर कंट्री स्पेसिफिक जॉब्स दुबई के लिए है देन अगेन वी विल हैव अ सेशन फॉर पीडब्ल्यूसी एसटीसी got it guys to so, yes ka link aapko chat box mein mil jayega mentorship.cmong.com/events this is the link where you can go and register yourself once again thanks to jatin and abhinav for joining in for this session we'll again keep you updated for more upcoming sessions with jatin always shivam always happy to be here thanks thanks a lot thanks a lot.